So I got my channer and sorcerer up to the same level, and I wanted to make a video to show differences in playstyle and class mechanics. So first up is my channer. He's wielding a plus 10 fate staff, and he has a 29% for melee crit. For channer, that's great when you're using a staff because you have a high chance to uh, knock down your opponent, and for a channer, that's one of our main sources of crowd control. So right here, I get an Infernal Blaze stun, and when a mob is stunned or knocked down, knocked down is a good time to cast a direct heal. Um, right now I don't need it. And before this fight started, I put up my focused uh, parry buff and the Hot Ward of Revival. So as much as possible when fighting mobs, I try not to cast direct heals unless they're unable to interrupt me. Now one thing which is important is you can't stun a mob which is already stunned just like you can't knock down a mob that's already been knocked down. So um, that knowing this, um, you can alter the timing of your abilities. So for example, right here, you see right off the bat, I used Pairing Strike for the stun, and then I wait until the stun wears off to then use Infernal Blaze, and that adds another stun. If I had cast Infernal Blaze while the Pairing Strike stun was still up, Infernal Blaze wouldn't have restunned the mob. But I allowed just a tiny gap for the first stun to wear off apply before applying the second one. Um, I cast a Word of Protection, it's a stigma, while burning down the first mob, since I'm taking quite a bit of damage. And I'm hoping right here to get a knockdown or a stun, but uh, Infernal Blaze didn't stun, I didn't get a knockdown, so I had to cast a direct heal. And that's something that's dangerous to do, um, whether you're fighting a mob or a player, because you can get interrupted, uh, which basically, you know, waste the cast time on your heal and puts you behind the eight ball. So burn down the mob. And you see I'm getting a lot of crits here. And again, I have almost a 30% chance to crit, which is great. And here's a good example of um, how a high crit rate can allow you to really burn down a mob. So I get a staff knock down there, and then I get a pentacle shock proc. And pentacle shock seems to proc about 10% of the time after incandescent blow. And it's a guaranteed knockdown as long as it lands. And you see I get another knock down there, and it basically you know, burn down this mob pretty quickly without taking much damage. And one thing that should be said is, um, as a channer, there's one ability that I see channers use quite a bit um, in melee range, and it makes me really depressed. It's Smite. Smite is only good for pulling mobs, um, but it doesn't synergize with their class mechanics. Um, it can be resisted, it can be interrupted, it takes a long time to cast. So generally speaking, um, when you're toe-to-toe -to -toe with a mob, don't use Smite. So this is my Sorcerer. Um, he's also wielding a plus 10 fate item and running with 1049 magic boost. Um, a little rusty here, I haven't played my Sork in a week and a half. Um, I cast Lumiel's Wisdom and then always open up with a Delayed Blast and then Ice Chain and then Frozen Shock for the knockdown, Flame Cage for the dot, and then Wind Cut Down, which is an awesome stigma worth every penny. It's uh, Wind Cut Down is like Flame Har Harpoon, but an, on a shorter cast time and with a heavy compact dot attached to it. So um, here I'm just going to show a two mob pull just like I did with my channer. And one thing which is, is just important is so I dot up the mob right here so I can't apply sleep on him. Now I have two options for roots. Here I use Winter's Binding which is an AoE root or I can use the um, root spell itself which is a single target. Um, the difference is Winter's Binding is AoE and has 15 meter range. Um, and also, it has um, an animation associated with it. And I try to, I used it in this video to kind of make a point. Um, you can use it a lot and save your root ability for when you really need it. Um, I don't see people using Winner's Binding probably as much as they should in PvE or in PvP. Like, just the main downside is the fact that it has that um, animation freeze which stops you from moving. So, here I use Delayed Blast, Ice Chain, and then uh, Lumiel's Wisdom before popping Inferno and then I use Blind Leap to go backwards. Now you got to be careful where you're, when you do Blind Leap like I just did, I almost aggroed a mob behind me, not good. Um, like I said, I'm rusty. And here, right here I'll show you the main downside of having a Sorcerer. So I was going to show the ability Aether Hold. So here I get Wind Cut Down, and here's Aether Hold, and unfortunately the spell gets resisted. And this is the main downside to playing it caster. You know, your CC gets resisted, kind of puts you behind the eight ball. So um, I use Winner's Binding here again. I'm just trying to make the point in the video. It's a good ability. And the root from Winner's Binding and from the regular root spell will hold up even if you have your opponent dotted. 
So two very fun classes to play, very different class mechanics and play styles. Um, I've switched to Chanter being my main, but Sorcerer's a lot of fun too.